Hello, my wonderful viewers. Welcome to my platform. This is Linda's TV show. If it is your first time of coming across this channel and you like what you see after watching, please subscribe, put on your notification bell, set it to all notifications. In that way, you'll be able to get notified each time I upload a new video, even those without notification. Here we react to all forms of videos, international and local. Every Saturday by 2 p.m. we have our interaction section. You are free to call in to air your opinion about the happenings in our society. Invite your friends, share my videos with your families and colleagues. Do not keep this information to yourself. Myself, I will be sitting down here to watch this video together with you from the beginning to the end. Then we'll go to the comment section and leave our comment, our opinion about the video we we'll watch constructively. The, the, the money was settled and he called the one that illiterate that were exposing something that could not even trace where the money go from, where it went or not go. It's a shame. So upon everything we said that day, the only thing Simon ever saw was that we could not mention the account. And then he went further to say that they saw that document last year and they saw nothing in it. Dear friend, are you listening? He said that they saw it. If they saw this kind of document and they hide it, they hide it from different people. They hide it from IPOB and then it went around flying every other document. Flying every other document. But she now, uh, Biafra people, uh, let me address this woman. First of all, I never said we saw document or anything. What I said was this allegation of this document has been there last year. They accused Madame Oyibo of stealing seven hundred thousand dollars of IPOB. That was a lie. This woman talking now was still working with Madame Oyibo when that accusation was made. She was working with Madame Oyibo. So, and if she turned around to say that she did not hear such allegation last year, that's another lie. I want you, I want to point out all the lies they have told here. You know, that's why it is not good to hate somebody because when you hate, you are going to make mistake. Now, she lied that I call Omar that illiterate. When I was addressing this thing, I never even knew that Umada shared it. <laughs> and let me also address the issue of Umada. They don't represent Umada. There are different groups now calling themselves Umada. Uh, Nero Febu is also Umada, and she cannot work with these people. So which of the Umada are they representing? So they don't represent the Umada. That is one. Number two is that I never addressed Umada as illiterate. And I challenge her to bring the video where I address Umada I say, Umada, you are illiterate. Because that does not exist. I have never said anything like that. So, because I refused to attack Nelly Ofebu when they called me on, on meeting. They called me for a meeting. I refused to attack Madame Oyibo. So, what they do now is to come to social media to lie against me. I challenge these two women to show a video where I said Umwada is illiterate. If they cannot provide that, that will show you, that should show you the people that they are. Because I'm going to play the video. So you see how they addressed that I call Umwada illiterate. Where did I call Umwada illiterate? I can never insult Umwada whether they are bad or good. <laughs> it is not my nature. I have so many people to fight. I have so many things to fight. Not Umada. What am I going to gain by fighting Umada? I choose my fight very wisely. So what, what exactly am I going to gain, gain from fighting Umada? What, what, what are the Umada blocking from me getting Biafra? They lied. 
that I called Omar that illiterate. They also lied that uh, we saw the document last year because such document does not exist. There is no document anywhere that exists. They wrote that in with pencil. Are you expecting me when I have even seen the way they lie against me now to take everything they said against Oibo very seriously? No. <laughs> As an RAJ, anime, you know, you have to use what happened to you to learn. You can't just come to me and tell me that Oibo steal money. Oibo have stealing money. $700,000. Oibo stole money. And then you present a document we, that doesn't have that amount in the account. So how can you expect me to start uh, 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 fighting and attacking Oibo because somebody wrote with a pencil 700,000 and you are trying to make me fight Oibo when you have even lied against me? How can I believe that what you are telling me about Oibo and Nelly of Ebu is true? I want to be Biafra, like I said, I have not come here to fight them. But just for you to understand, because this one is what you all know. When I was addressing this particular issue of allegation against uh, against uh, Madame Oyibo, the reason why I did not come to defend Madame Oyibo, I did not also come to defend Nelly. The reason why I addressed the issue of that amount was that they started calling me. Hmm? They started calling me that I am benefiting from the money Madame Oyibo stole still from uh, IPOB. So I have to come and address it that the money does not exist. Let them bring it now. And they said that somebody wrote. You see, the information they are passing to the public. I want to tell Biafrans one thing today. Of course, these people, they're, they're, you know, you know, <laughs> I want to tell Biafrans today one thing. You see, they are not fighting Oyibo. They are not also fighting Nelly. The people they are fighting is the Eastern Security Network, the ESN. That is the target. The target is not Oyibo. The target is not Nelly. And that's why sometimes it becomes necessary, very imperative for me to address these things and explain to people from the fundamental so that everybody will understand the devilish game these people are playing. It is Eastern Security Network they are fighting. That is why they will tell you, don't pay money again until we see accountability. Don't pay this one until we see accountability. Which accountability? You accuse somebody of stealing 700000 Do you know $700,000? And you don't have any evidence. Somebody wrote something with pencil. You want me to come and attack the person on top of it. You are lying against me. How can I believe that the allegation against Oibo is true? How can I believe against... That allegation against Nelly of Ebu is true. When they are lying, they open their mouth and lie against me here. They said I call Umada illiterate. I never call Umada illiterate. They said, um, um, uh, uh, what else did they say? They said I, um, I, I, I picked the the uh, the only one they circled with pencil. That for that reason, I did, I, I forgot. I, I make sure I did not address all other documents. Where is the document that have seven hundred thousand dollars? Where is the document? Now, I want you to listen to them. Ever say that something like this went on. She never mentioned or said, okay, Madam, Mike Peter said something like this, but this, this is, is the way it went. went. And they hid it. And the only thing Simon Epa could call Omada is illiterate. Are you hearing them? Simon Epa? It's a shame. Are you hearing them? The least we could expect from you is to call us name, Omada. Are, are you hearing them? I want Umada this are not illiterate. I want this woman to. You to might show be a, me. A, a, a barrister. You might be a lawyer, but you cannot give an injection. You see, that's why if I want to come out of, you know, if I want to come out to, you know, <laughs> I don't even fight because it is God that fight, you know. It is God that fight for me. I don't fight. My own is that I will just deliver a message that God asked me to deliver. I want this woman to show me 
to bring evidence because this is how they go about blackmailing people. I want this woman to come and show me where I call Omar that illiterate. The people I was addressing are the sewage rat who were tagging me in many posts on Facebook that where is the 700,000 you stole? Where is the 700,000 you stole? And I saw the document. I never even knew that <laughs> they have any hand in it. I am telling you, I never knew. And I was addressing the, the way they are flying those documents, uh, 700,000, and I saw it. I was like, wow, how can somebody be uh, saying that somebody's... And I begin to call them illiterate, which I have been addressing them like that from the beginning of this whole saga. So where did I call Umar da illiterate? Me, that fought against the blackmailing and insulting Umar da for over eight months. I did not choose who to fight for. I did not choose which name. I fought for Umada. I stood my ground with Gidibam that you can't call Umada names or Radio Biafra. It was one of the beginning of this whole thing. How can this woman now come and say, I call Umada illiterate? I am, I am challenging them to bring a video where I say, oh, mother, are illiterate. I have never done anything like that. I'm, I'm not a stupid person to begin to brand oh, mother as illiterate. So please, if you know this, and let me also tell, uh, let me also tell this, uh, tell the Biafrans, it was this same woman, this same woman that came to this platform and declared that they have taken over the leadership of IPOB. And I believe it was not in agreement with every other woman that came to this program that day. But she was the one who spoke. She was the one shouting that they have come to take over the leadership of IPOB, Umwada. But that was not what they agreed to, to say on my At least from, from the little I know about their about their appearance, appearance appearing on my pro on my platform. She was the one who made that pronouncement. I want everybody to go and watch the day that these women came to my platform and declared that they have taken over IPOB. She was the one who made the speech. So where is all this over zealous, all this anger, all this hatred? You know, the reason why, you know, you know they, they don't know me. That is just the, that is just the fact. They don't know me. Because you cannot push me to fight, not Nelly, not Oibo, not anybody, when I do not have any reason to do that. You can't. They invited me for a meeting. I went to the meeting. And everything was to attack Nelly, attack Oibo. Uh, they are this, they are that, they are this. And these are the people I have been working with. I know them. I may not know everything about them. <laughs> because the only person you can trust is the child you have in your stomach, in your womb. That the one mother will have the child in the womb. That is the only one you can trust. But as the as it concerns this Biafra struggle and what has happened and what we are doing, there is no reason whatsoever for me to begin to suspect or doubt or evil, for me to begin to say, Nelly, you are this, Nelly, you are that. I cannot do that. The time we were fighting this particular battle, these women, they were not they, they were nowhere to be found. When Nelly was when Nelly was taking bullets on social media everywhere, they were not there. When we managed to rescue the Eastern Security Network, they were not there. So how can you come all of all of a sudden? You tell me Nelly is bad, Nelly is this, Nelly is that. When I have seen with my own eyes how Nelly with passion trying everything to make sure that they did not destroy the Eastern Security Network. How can I how can I believe that? That is why, you know, when they are talking this thing, they will talk, talk, oh, the, the thing will be like, you are pouring water on the stone. Because what I know, they don't know it. Okay? And let me tell you one thing. You see, this woman that they say he, she wrote that particular thing, that she wrote, that woman, they don't know what happened, trans what transpired between Madame Oyibo, Nelly Ofuebu, and that lady of which I was involved. Now let me tell them a, let me tell them this story because they don't know. 
the lady that wrote this thing, if that actually she was the one who wrote it, because they say the Latina was the one who wrote it. If the lady can write amount in a paper on top of account, a statement of account, she has access to the account. She has access to, to print the statement of account. And she has sent that particular papers to them. Why didn't this same lady print a document, a statement of account that is reflecting this $700,000? Why did she have to write it with pen, with pencil, which actually she had access to the account? She even printed the, 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 the account statement. This same lady even recorded co telephone conversation between me, Madame Oyibo, Nelly Ofebu, and her to show you how prepared she was already making up some things. So if she was actually prepared to even to the extent of recording the conversation when Oyibo and Nelly confronted her to come to my program to explain to Biafrans about this money, this same money now, this same money they are talking about, last year, she released the audio to Germany people. They used it to do program. Some of you listening to that audio. When Nelly was saying, no, 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 we have to go to Simon platform. We, we, that is why I called Simon. So I will go to Simon platform. That was the same thing that we are talking about on that, on that, uh, on that uh, telephone uh, conversation. And she recorded it in preparation for Saga. And let me also tell you, let me tell you, as she recorded it in preparation for Saga, what happened was this. That woman, that lady brought somebody that we don't know that the person is going to manufacture this manufacture that manufacture this when they saw that idea i bought that it is not everything that you know that we are going to be talking you understand <laughs> so that uh, that lady brought this person who claimed to who claimed to be a biafra that uh, they are going to manufacture this manufacture that manufacture this. so i listened to them i listened to this lady now this lady that they are talking about and that man, I listened to them. We had a we had a Zoom a Zoom conference. She was the one who organized that Zoom. We had a Zoom conference. I listened to this man. The man told the story, narrated the story, what he's going to do, how he's going to do it, everything and all that. The thing looks so beautiful. It sounds so beautiful. I said, "Wow! If it is something that is going to bring Biafra, why not? Let us go for it." But it was not up to a few days. This guy changed from top to bottom. <laughs> he changed. He began to act as somebody. He began to behave like a, you know, like a good person. He was like, you know, it, you know, so nobody that will, he was even threatening me then. So nobody will, uh, you know, listen to that uh, guy and you want to do anything with him and you take him serious. <laughs> so because of that, but I will even say, ah, I cannot go into any agreement with this kind of person that is smoking in book. Because he talking like somebody who, in fact, you know, he sent all that all manner of messages and all that. So nobody can go into any business or any deal with such person. Now, that was the anger of this Latina. And this woman don't know about it. They don't know. It was as a result of Madame Oyibo did not want to go into a disagreement with this person that everybody, including me, I was not comfortable because he behaved as somebody and I'm cocaine. Oyibo is even an understatement. So, so it, the, the lady now got angry that uh, Madame Oyibo did not want to go into the business with, from, with somebody she brought. These women in the we are now, they didn't know this. And a lot of people don't know this. Now the problem started from there. So what she was doing there from that time was to look for everything to fight Oyibo and blackmail Oyibo. So I know they don't know it. The next thing is that she released that uh, audio of recording where uh, um, 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 Nelly was telling her we have to go to Simon platform to explain to Biafrans. She released it to people in Germany. They used it to do program. Before you know it, she released documents, she released it. No evidence of any money, 700,000 anyway. And let me tell you people, because what they are looking for 
is to begin to leak secret of whatever our leader have done, you know, that has to do with the struggle, which involves money. That is what they are looking for, to destroy. And that thing will be, will, nobody will, is going to touch sensitive issues or to, or to imagine that they cannot come out. I was not part of it. Why are they calling me? And they are, at the same time, they are lying. Not only that they are lying, this woman is even laying course on herself that Nam Geku na Obo Hademo herself. Now somebody gave Kungura, somebody gave Kuroni Oye Purishi, somebody gave Kunka. And they sat here telling Biafra Nam Poloha illiterate. I want them to go back and bring the video where Simon Ekpa was calling Omoada illiterate. I, am, I have said it more than 10 times now. I never did. I never called Omoada illiterate. So, and I'm not even asking them to apologize to me. Because if you fight me, I can do a chat. The way they have come to blackmail me now is the way the spirit of Biafra will deal with them. Because I, 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 my hands are clean. Why are they coming to lie against me? If somebody see them now that they didn't watch my program, the person, you know how Biafra behave, most of them. If somebody see them now saying, and they repeated, Simon Ekpa Kolomada illiterate. Simon Ekpa Kolomada, me, that was fighting against the people that are calling them all manner of name or radio Biafra, will not turn around. And they brand Omada as illiterate. This is a lie taken too far. And that is why I have come and I say it is, I am not, I am not here to start debunking or addressing 700,000 because it doesn't exist. <laughs> it is just another another stupid blackmail. Until you bring the evidence of where 700,000 mo were moved, what it was used for, and all that. Then I can have a, you know, I can begin to address it, but it doesn't exist. That is my point. It doesn't exist. So if Mazen Amdikano did something and, you know, and then somebody come and start and start digging it now. What are you looking for? What is it that you are looking for to get? It means they are looking for destruction. Because what Mazen Bikanu did before he was uh, uh, kidnapped is what some of them are trying to dig out now. They want Oyibo to dig out. They say Oyibo open account two days before when or after Mazen Bikanu. The account, the original account has already been reported. They have reported the account and a new account needed to be opened, which Mazen Amdikano approved while in DSS dungeon. And Chike Doziemu uh, actually announced it on, on, on Radio Biafra then, when they were still relevant. So, why are they coming to just lie and lie and lie? And after all this lie, you want me to sit with you and then you tell me, Madame Oyibo is criminal. In every of Facebook is bad. They are going to drag you down. They are going to destroy you. They will rubbish you and all that. And you want me to believe you. You want me to just listen to you and believe that Madame Oyibo is a criminal. Uh, this one is a, is a this. When you are also doing the same thing to me. And it is a lie. I want everybody to watch. And listen to them. You might be a military officer. You cannot revive a dying person. We are Umada. We are in the medical field. You have your own profession. We have our own profession. You do not insult our intelligence. And let me tell you, you do not insult me, insult me personally. If you cannot respect me for anything, you respect my gray hair. I will let you know that. And let everybody talk all nonsenses that they want to talk. Because it's not every water that, that every water that rain that you bring out your basin to catch. Why are you picking a battle for Nelly and Bibo? You see, it's not I'm picking battle for Nelly and Oyibo. This is, this is their problem. 
Their problem is that I have not come to fight Nelly. I have not come to fight Oibo. I cannot do that. I cannot do that. This is what these people have been doing to Mazi Namdikan. Every day, every day, our leader will spend time thinking about the problem they are creating in the, in the movement. Every day, this one said that. This one is a liar. This one is a criminal. This one, every day, these women create problem upon problem for Mazen Nadikan. Every, this is what he has been. He spent more time solving problem than facing Biafra. That is why I learned. Because, you know, I told you people that immediately after when Mazen Nadikan was kidnapped, some group of people called me from America. We spent almost five hours on the phone. It was the same thing. Of which that Obwe, he was part of that call. Uh, come to our side uh, so that we will finish Oyibo. Come to our side. Oyibo is this. Oyibo is that. I took my time to listen to Obwe. Obwe, he was telling me how Oyibo is bad, how Oyibo is evil, how, and I was waiting to see what Oyibo did. And I asked Obwe, so what is it? Obwe, he was explaining to me that, do you know, I was the one who uh, who introduced Oyibo to Mazenam the Khan. I was the one who swore Oyibo out. I was the one who took Oyibo to Mazenam the Khan. I was the one who did this. I was the one who did that. Now, Oyibo have come to kick me aside. Chai! I looked at myself. I said, so this is just the reason. He said, I cannot even have access to Mazenam the Khan anymore. Like that before. Oyibo come and took him and took over. And from me, he kicked me aside. She kicked me aside. And I cannot talk. I, this man was vomiting this thing for almost five hours. That was, a, that was his problem. And for that reason, he must bring Oibo down. I listened to them. I listened to them one after the other. From 12 a.m. to 5 a.m. in my own time. After listening to these people, I made my decision. You see, let me tell you. What I am doing today is not, I did not just wake up. I have weighed everybody. I have weighed all the side. Nobody is pure. Nobody is clean. But I work with people who are actually ready for Biafra. That is the point. And if you ask me, who are them? I will tell you the people I'm working with now are the people who are close to anything getting Biafra. Not people that will out of jealous. You want me to fight somebody out of jealous. You want money, mo everything, money, bring money, bring account, accountability, this one, that one. But why people have access to the account? In the meeting, they were there in the meeting. Somebody was telling them in the, in the meeting, they called me that, hey, Oibo is the only one who have access to that account. I said, no, that is not true. I cannot be here. You lie. You are in America. You know, it is not possible for one person to have access to a corporation account. This is not a private like a private enterprise. We are talking about a corporation, a corporation account. So Oibo cannot have access to the account alone. And they know that they still lied in front of everybody. That woman was shouting, Oibo is the only one in charge of the account. Oibo made the account her own. Oibo did this, but she know Oibo cannot have access to the account alone. It was a lie. I confronted that woman that there in that meeting. I said, this is a lie. You can, cannot be here. You are lying against the evil. And not only that... Thank you so much, my wonderful viewers, for watching this video together with me from the beginning to the end. Like I said before, if you like what you see here, if you like what I do in this platform, as you have finished watching this video, please hit that red button that says subscribe and put on your notification bell to all notifications. In that way, you'll be able to know when I upload a new video. Share my videos, leave your comments in the comment section constructively. Until I meet your way again in my next video, I still remain your Linda's TV show. Bye-bye.